Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about vintage, fashion, luxury, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. Today I have an Hermes unboxing for you guys. I got something that is super hard to get. I cannot believe I scored them. So without further ado, let me unbox and then I'll tell you a little bit about them. So it comes with the receipt. And then here is the orange box. I can never retie the ribbons as good as they come. So sorry, that didn't look as nice, but um, I filmed an actual unboxing over, um, I'll put it up on my Instagram. So if you want to head over there and look for it, um, you can see how it like truly was the unboxing. Um, I filmed that. So this is just a reveal. So we open up. Okay, so it's a pair of shoes. If you can guess what they are, pause the video and write it down below. Uh, a hint is they are the hottest shoe and the hardest ones to get. Um, so let's see what they are. And also if you can guess what color, if you already know what you think these are gonna be, let me know. Okay, so we have in one dust bag, so they come two dust bags. We have the Hermes Chipre Sandal. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I think it's Chipre. Anyways, so here's one, and the other one, and the other dust bag. Here's the second one. So did you guys guess? I got the super hard to get Hermes Chipre Sandals. Um, I got mine in my true to size, size um, 37, and they fit perfectly. I'll show you guys cutaways. Um, I actually, um, here, let me show you up close and I'll tell you the kind of the story of them. So you can see, well, there's already a little bit creased because I wore them. That's okay. Um, they have a Velcro strap here. Um, minimal hardware, which I love about them. Just a little silver buckle right here to adjust that strap if you need, has the H detail on the front. These are the white with black soles. It has kind of a molded footbed and you can see the little H's all along the bottom of the shoe here. So these are them. And so I scored these on Hermes.com, which is crazy. I mean, I have been stocking, stocking, stocking these shoes for months. I've been wanting them so bad. I've been seeing them and they're impossible to get. They're so hard and the resale value on these is insane on those um, resale sites. Um, and I just like was not willing to pay double or so for them. Um, so I kept stalking the website and I'd see them pop up every once in a while in like a men's size, like one random one will pop up here and there. So. I've just been literally stalking the website and I don't know how, um, I've tried to add them to my cart before and buy and they'll be like, oh no, they're not in stock um, when I try to do that. But finally I found some, and actually originally I got a size 36 because that's all I could find. And I just checked out just to see if I could do it. And it actually went through and I was like, wow, I can't believe I got these. And I'm like, maybe I can squeeze my foot in. Um, and then I started doing some research and everyone said that they run small. So I was like, oh great, like one size down is definitely not gonna fit me. And so um, I'll actually, um, I still have those other ones. I will put a cutaway and I'll kind of show you um, like an overlay and, and compare the sizes. Um, they're definitely smaller than these, the 37s um, in the footbed but not like incredibly different, just, just the tiniest bit. Like the 36s, I was debating just keeping if I couldn't have found the 37s, um, but my toe would hang over like just a little bit on the front and I just felt like over time that would probably like wear my toe and give me a blister there. So it wasn't ideal, but I also was like very desperate to have these and not pay crazy resale prices. So um, I ended up being able to find my 37 online. I don't know how they popped up, but they did. And I have not seen them pop up since I bought these. So I don't know if they're gonna keep like restocking every once in a while, but it's something you can keep checking. If there's something you're interested in or ask your essays. Um, I also heard that they're gonna be restricting buying the Chipre sandals, just like they do with Kelly's and Birkins. I think it's like two a year. 
Um, so something to keep in mind, if you've already bought some, you may be limited. Um, I don't know if you guys know if that's true or not, um, write in the comment section, let me know. That's just like the rumor I've been hearing floating around, but anyway, so about sizing on these. So I bought my true size 37. I'm also a 37 inch Chanel. Um, and they fit me perfectly. I think they fit fine. I do have a narrow foot. So maybe someone who has um, a wider foot, you might find that they run small. Um, that could be the thing. Um, I don't find, they, they fit me like perfectly, like exactly perfect. Um, and I have found them super comfortable. I've not gotten a blister in them. Uh, another thing I read is that people say that this portion right here um, is really uncomfortable for them and they get blisters really bad from it. I did it, but then again, I use this like foot glide um, stuff. I'll, I'll link in bio or down in the description box. Um, I will link down there what I use, but normally when I have a new shoe and I'm just not sure where it's gonna like leave a blister or whatnot, cause I do have sensitive feet. I'll use this like, um, it's not a Vaseline, but it's like a, it's like a stick that's supposed to uh, like an anti-friction kind of thing. So I usually put that on the tops of my feet just to make sure I'm not gonna get a blister. And I have not had any problems. I wore them two days in a row and no issues. I mean, I haven't worn them for like days, like hours and days on end, nothing like crazy amount of walking, but so far I found them comfortable. Um, these are also like a calf leather. They do have some, I think in like Epsom, like, like stiffer leather. So maybe like those ones would be more uncomfortable. So just something to keep in mind, like when you look at the leathers of them, but so far I am absolutely in love with them. I love a chunky sandal. To me, they just look like I've been wearing them for years now. I love the look of them, especially like on my body frame in particular, cause I have like wider hips and I have really like kind of skinny legs and ankles. And I find that a chunkier shoe kind of balances out my silhouette. So I personally love them. Um, so yeah, I have zero complaints about them so far. And if you guys have any questions about them, you can write that down in the comments and I can answer back if I know. Um, so yeah, for me, they run true to size. One thing I do wanna mention about sizing and I did, I've like noticed um, people who have said that they run really small are tending to get the men's sizes. So since I have a size 37 foot, I can't fit in any of the men's sizes, but what I, from what I understand of what I've read, on these is that if you are trying to size into the men's sizing, their conversion is different. So you actually buy one size up from your normal size in women's if you're trying to buy the men's version. So um, if you're say like a size 40 women's, you would do a size 41 men's and that would be the equivalent. Um, don't quote me on these, I haven't tried personally, but that's just what I have read. So something to keep in mind if you are trying to score the men's, I do see the men's pop up more than the women's. So you may have more luck buying in men's sizes, but just to know the men's are like a tiny bit more expensive, maybe like 20 bucks. And also the men's H on them are bigger than the women. So just something to keep in mind. Um, they may look just a little bit different and that's if it's men's or women's. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say about them. I will show the cutaways if I haven't already um, of me wearing them and I am super happy with them. And let me know also in the comments below, are you more of a Chipre kind of person or are you an Oren sandal kind of person? I've never bought the Oren, so I can't say as far as comparison, um, like sizing or anything of them. Those are just not really personally my style, but I am obsessed with these. So I hope you guys are too. And remember, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and like, comment, and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye.